Hello, this is Alexis Jane Ola from BS at English 2 and on this video, I am going to talk about the different instances that shows a teacher-student professional relationship based on the Article 8 of the Code of Ethics for Teachers. So how should teachers and students act inside the school premises as they interact with each other when we say that they must have professional relationships? So, the following are the examples of that scenario. So, there are students who became close with their teachers and vice versa. So, given that favoritism should not exist, at all times, the teacher should show fairness to all of his students. So, assessment results of the students as well should not be based on their closeness but on the quality of the outputs. And students, on the other hand, should not bribe their teachers with gifts and such just to get the high grade that they desire. So the next is one of the debatable topics when it comes to student and teacher relationship. So the question is, can a teacher and student fall in love with each other? So if it is based on the code of ethics for teachers, the answer is yes, they can, but the teacher should show fairness to all of the students as well and they should be discreet. Uh, when it comes to their uh, relationship because they, it can trigger um, scandals and gossips and the teacher might uh, lose his job and it can also terribly affect the life of the student. Another instance, the learning and development of the student are the first priority of teachers. So meaning to say, if the teacher uh, doesn't want the student, it doesn't mean that he can discriminate or belittle them or leave them behind among the other students but they should be treated fairly like the other students so he can uh, gain the respect from that student and maintain his dignity as a teacher when they are in school students look up to their teachers and as they say teachers are the second parents of the learners so given this point, their welfare and um, interest are one of the concerns of the teachers as well as their needs that must be attended. And also the teachers should um, contribute to the development and to the coping uh, mechanisms of the students when it comes to their uh, difficulties when it comes to learning. So another reminder for the students and the teachers to have a better and professional relationship is that whenever the child commit mistakes or do something that is against the teacher's likings, they shouldn't be punished to the point that they will get hurt like um, hitting them with a stick or pinching their ears or something like that. But instead, they should be um, given advice instead and uh, talk to them nicely and solve the conflict without hurting anyone because corporal punishment is against the code of ethics. So in general, compassion, respect, and fairness are all what matters for students and teachers to have a better and professional relationship because students want their teacher to understand them to be considerate and make them learn the things that they need to learn for the future. And as for teachers, what they want from their students is respect. And if both sides uh, comply to these needs and wants of each other, healthy professional relationship would be possible for all of them. So that would be all, but always remember that to have a professional relationship between teachers and students, teachers aren't the only ones responsible for that, but the students should do their part as well because at the end of the day, they are the only ones who will interact inside the school premises and within the class are so they must be comfortable with the presence of each other. So once again, thank you. 
and I'll be signing off. Goodbye.